Part 1. The Hidden Door I had always heard tales of secret, haunted doors, but I never thought I would experience one in my own house. This happened a few months ago when we moved into our new home, forced to relocate after my father's transfer. Some of the locals in the area warned us that there was something strange about the house, but in reality, we couldn't afford any other place, so we brushed off their warnings as mere superstition. I never imagined that anything like what happened could actually occur. Our new life began in this house, and at first everything seemed normal. My mom, dad, and I settled in, and I had just started at my new school. We were living a good life, or so I thought. But then, a few days later, things began to change. One evening, my mom and dad had to attend a party at my dad's office. They were going to be out late, so I was left home alone. I decided to use the quiet time to finish my school homework. As I worked, the stillness of the house lulled me to sleep on the couch. I don't know how long I had been asleep when a sudden, loud noise jolted me awake. I glanced at the clock. It was 2 a.m. My heart was racing as I tried to pinpoint the source of the sound. It seemed to be coming from the kitchen. But when I listened more closely, I realized it was coming from a room I had never noticed before. The storeroom. I was shocked because I could have sworn that there was no such room in our house. I had never seen it before, and its existence felt completely wrong, as if it had appeared out of nowhere. The storeroom was almost camouflaged into the floor, its door blending seamlessly with the surroundings. Despite the growing unease gnawing at me, curiosity got the better of me. I found myself slowly descending the stairs towards the storeroom, each step filled with dread. I could feel my pulse quicken with every step, cursing myself for wanting to explore this mystery. But something inside me pushed me forward. When I finally reached the door, I hesitated, but the same strange noise echoed from within, compelling me to open it. The door creaked ominously as I pushed it open, revealing nothing but complete darkness. My hands trembled as I fumbled for the light switch, my breath catching in my throat.